Hey folks, this is Book Talk with Corbin. We have a returning guest, Uncle Mashorn. You've been you've heard this brother before. Go to my website, Book Talk with Corbin, and and check out the interview we had with him there. He's he's unfortunately he's doing a book release in Louisville right now. I'm in Atlanta right now. Otherwise, I'd be there. Get get my copy and get let me let me say this. Get my signed copy. But I'm gonna get my signed copy once I get back. I'm gonna buy it and get my signed copy once I get back, brother. Just tell us, just give us the title and a little bit about the book and where we can get it if we don't have the good fortune of being there at your book release. Go ahead. Well, first of all, man, it's good to be back with you and everything since the last time uh, I was just getting my book started and everything. I hadn't even told. I thought, I, a matter of fact, I had just released it Kindle in uh, audio uh, the last time uh, I came on. Now, bro, uh, the book is, you can order my book off of UncleMeShawn.com. Uh, and you can get your copy of my book. Now, of course, it's going to be a little bit more pricey on 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 the website. Now it's twenty five dollars. Okay, on the website now, if you get it from me at my book signing, it's twenty dollars. So yeah, hey, right. so you make up your mind. Now, yes, we're gonna have a book signing uh, tomorrow uh, here in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, I'm excited about that. You can actually go to my website, and that'll tell you where that book signing is going to be. So just a little bit. Corbett, thank you for having me back here again, man. Uh, sure. and, I, and again, I, I don't do this um, to, to, to blow your head up or to shoot, shoot you up. Yet. I appreciate alpha men who are not intimidated with my strength. I, I know that I bring it. Um, I'm hardcore. I don't, I don't sugarcoat. I tell it like it is. And I give anyone props from being comfortable in their skin to have a conversation with me, okay? Because that's really where only real men can have conversation across the board, whether you are European-American, the citizens of American slave, Jews, anybody. And that's what my book is all about. I am not your black America. I'm cutting across the traditional thinking of what those who were all born before 1960. Unfortunately, our brothers, our uncles, our husbands and fathers that look like you and I, brother, they yes. didn't walk in their, hey, I'm going to keep it real, bro. They didn't walk with their nuts hanging, bro. I mean, they didn't have the ability to to really speak their truth. How do you know that? Look at the Emmett Till situation. Everybody mm. want to talk about Emmett Till's mother. I want to talk about Emmett Till's uncle, okay? The mm. uncle who is not allowed to defend his nephew because if he had tried to defend his nephew, his whole family would have been killed yeah right. think about that corbin man yes, you understand yes, yes, and sir. i started thinking about that the story is actually the uncle who decided to sacrifice emmett till right. i mean it's a hard thing to say but keep it 100 right. he sacrificed that little boy yeah. to make sure he saved himself his family and everybody come on but, corbin brother Speak i i you, heard bro. I heard that those guys, those terrorists, actually yes. went into the house. Yes. And grabbed it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I want people no. to clearly hear what you're saying. I want people to clearly hear what you're saying. Yes. I'm saying that prior to 1960, keep it 100. Anybody want to talk about all the good things our cultural people have done? We would not be experiencing the same stuff in 21st century if our men were allowed to drop their nuts and be real men and defend their perimeter and their family and their children we wouldn't be having the problems today we wouldn't be having the problems of young men shooting and killing one another you know why because those alpha men would be taking care of their home so the problems that we have in our society is the lack of our men being able to drop their nuts to be real men in our community. And nobody talks about that, man. And right. that's what my book is about. My book is saying back to the dominant European, dominant European culture. Look at here. Uh, uh, James Baldwin, I think he was trying to say it, but, you know, brother being gay, you know, yeah. Yeah, he could, he really couldn't speak it the way he wanted to. I mean, I, I keep it real cold. I, I, I feel for the brother. You know, you know how it is to be gay. 
in the dominant European culture, you just laid up with them and everything, right. go out to dinner, and you reminded that you're a nigga? <laughs> All right, look, look, hold on. We ain't got too much time. I want people to get your book. I want people hey. to get your book. You know where to go get it, folks. But here, let me ask you this. Let me, let's let's this is this is slightly related. The attack on the Second Amendment, the right to bear arms. I hear a lot of black organizations, well, not a lot, but you know, a couple like the National Urban League. They are, for the most part, almost advocating for the abolition of that constitutional right to bear arms. What what are some of your thoughts on that? Uh -oh. So, uh, you're breaking up. So okay. I, I think you, I think you want to repeat what you said because sure. I, I want people to hear. But because I don't think actually anyone heard the okay. question that you. I, I didn't hear it. I didn't. Okay. Hear All right. So let 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 me let me ask it again. And I'm here. I'm hearing a lot of black folk. Not a lot, but you know, a few black organizations here and there, and even some black folk locally. They are basically advocating for the abolition or the removal of the Second Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, our right, our constitutional right to bear arms. What are some of your thoughts on that? Well, you know, it's fun. Uh oh, we broke up again. Oh, hmm. Emmett Till's uncle had weapons in his house. He had his weapon there. Okay. But he, he he could have he could have prevented those men from coming into his house. But the problem was in the times he was living in, oh no. Nah. Yeah, they would have taken out his whole family. They would have, the he, terrorists would have I, against the eye about him if he tried. Man, even if he would have shot them and and prevented them from taking that little boy from his house, guess what they would have done? Man. The times would have, they would have crucified him. Okay. Mm -hmm. So to answer your question, I am not about eliminating the ability for me to defend myself from a mob or anybody else. Don't tell me that you want to eliminate my rights, the, like the bare arms. I don't want, now, if you want to talk to me about maybe, you know, putting control on and the ammunition, okay, or making it expensive, okay, that ammunition and the gunpowder and everything can't be, and certain weapons and everything can't get, uh, you know, like these serious weapons that getting their ammunition, you want to raise the price up on that or keep it, I'm down for that. But don't tell me, okay, as a descendant of American slave, man, you going to tell me, you won't take my weapons back away from me. That sounds like we about to go back somewhere where I'm not being able to defend myself, bro. Did I answer right. that right, man? Did, did that make sense? I get you. Yeah, I understand that. I understand that. Um, you know, given our, our historical experiences in this country, I think it's just flat out almost suicidal to say, oh, well, you know. Yes. Yeah. You crazy in hell. <laughs> you crazy in hell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's keep let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Hey, this is Uncle Michorn, guys. Go to his website, get his book. All right, y'all think he's talking crazy now. You wait till you read that book. It's going to change you. It's going to challenge you. Y'all got to read that. I don't care if you like him or not. It doesn't matter. You gotta you gotta hear him. You gotta read him and yes. try to understand him. I'm not. I don't care if you agree with him or not. You gotta hear him. You gotta read him and understand him. This is a very important voice. And he's not uh, a fringe voice within the black community. He is not a fringe voice within the black community. If you say that, bro. The history of black folk in the United States of America, Uncle Michorn's all, all in there, all up and down for decades and decades and decades, all up and down. Different parts of the country is all up and down. You can Google me. Hey, keep it real, man. I, I actually, that's funny you brought I had people interview me and they googled me man especially european americans man they googled me and they said oh my god dude you're like five six seven pages of you dude mm -hmm. you have been out there i said bro i did i come back and say but i'm not loved by my community bro <laughs> right 
Right, I hear you. Brother, let me ask you, let me ask you this. Right now, what are some of your Keep views on the Biden administration? Of what are some of your views on the Biden administration and his uh, military and foreign policy? First of all, let's keep it 100. We got someone operating that don't even know he's the president. Mm. <laughs> we got. Oh, man. He this... sees him holding the position of president, knows he ain't even running that face. Somebody behind him running. That. OK, so far as a military person, uh, I'm scared of the, as they say, the, the appearance of weakness. OK. So mm. just because the appearance of weakness, uh, I got problems with them because I am mm. the States of America and you got other countries around you that's looking for a way to get in any way they can. And what's the first thing they look for is weakness. Yes. So you want me to ask him what you guys say on his administration? His administration with that fake uh, Kamala Harris, who's pimping herself as black, they position us as a country as weak. That's all I need to say, bro. All mm. the other stuff doesn't matter because bottom mm. of the United States of America, when you got all these other side, all these other countries, if you are positioning yourself as weak, whatever policies and everything you got doesn't matter. You are putting our country in danger, bro. In yeah. danger. Do I need to speak anymore? Hey, Yeah. yeah, you're right. You're right. And you, you would think that people would do some reading on, you know, what happened in World War Two. Actually, prior to World War Two, Adolf Hitler was like, you know, he, yes. he just like, oh, OK, we're going to probe. He was, you know, he probed yeah. Poland. He really he, he said, hey, if they resist, bring your butt back out. There's no significant resistance. He went on in. It's like you say. It, hey, they, what the Bay of Pig? Look at what was the Bay of Pigs all about? What the Cuba missile thing was all about? Mm -hmm. What did JFK had to show? Yeah. Hey, what did J show? JFK had to show. Hey, look at here. You That's mess, right. You mess around. You mess around. You keep on coming. I got yeah. something for you, right? I mean, <laughs> right. am I right? I mean, right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, you're am right, man. You're right. Because right. they, they, I, I heard. They you're right. They, they, yeah. Yeah. Hey, and do you think Biden, do you think Biden, Kamala Harris represent that, bro? Come on. Yeah. We yeah. don't have to talk about none. Of, we don't have to talk about nothing else. OK, do yeah. they represent a, 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 a position of strength right. to other countries? That's the right. answer is you answer that and then we go from there. There you go. You're right about that. Hey, all right, brother, look, this is Uncle Michorn, guys. Go to my website, booktalkwithcorbin.com. Listen to my other interview with him and go, uh, like he just said, Google him. And you'll get his website and go buy his book, all right? Y'all buy that book. Again, I don't care if you like him or not. I don't care if you disagree with him, disagree with him or not. His voice has to be heard. And it's got, it's got to be heard. You need to read it and you need to understand where he's coming from it's a vital important voice you got to he's not some fringe element he's not people want to portray him as some sort of fringe element i'm sorry that's not true and you'll see the truth of the situation when you read his book and you get his books brother i'm going to this last question i'm going to put out there i gotta this whole uh what's that boy's name and i deliberately said boy i deliberately misgendered him Dylan Mulvaney, Bud Light, people's response to that. Now I'm hearing Target is trying to sell uh, trans clothing or something like that to children, to children. What are some of your general thoughts on that, brother? Man, brother, I am a masculine, natural, heterosexual brother, okay? When I hear that nonsense, they should do a commercial call themselves Bud Light. They are no longer, they, you know, you know, Bud Light, that means less feeling. You don't have all the attributes of being real alcohol. You don't have everything. Listen up. The moment that Bud Light decided to do that, they actually showed who they are being financed and support. They're actually showing who 
their demographics of people that they care about. But guess what? They didn't realize there are some real Americans out here that is not down with that nonsense. They didn't realize, and that's what Target trying to, you see, Target trying to position himself and everything, and they don't want to go down, they don't want to go through the financial losses Bud Light just right. went through and everything. So they're trying to reposition themselves, but they're trying to be politically correct, okay? Trying to uh, tread the line. No, I'm telling you, hear what I'm saying. Sometimes you got to pick the line you want. You got to, you can't straddle the damn fence. You got to right. pick it, you got to pick a side, okay? Pick a side and right. see all these organizations that's trying to straddle the fence. That's why we got this idea of uh, 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 he he feels this way or she feels the way. They are male. That, that, no. Mm, okay. But we're having problems with this research. Right, feminine, female, period. There is no straddling the fence, man. That's some unnatural stuff. The only thing I talk about is natural versus unnatural. All that middle ground stuff, I don't know what you're talking about, Corbin. I don't get in the middle of that. I don't get in that middle stuff, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm a natural brother. Are you a natural brother? You're a natural yes, brother, sir. right? Yes, sir. And, yes, and sir. anybody that don't, and anybody who don't want to embrace us being natural, I'm sorry. You are natural. There you go. There you go. All right. Um... Don't get mad at it. That's how I feel about it. That's some unnatural stuff that we see in occurring in that country, bro. Right. right. Hey, um, appreciate you taking time out uh, to do this interview. Hope we can do another one, you know, a few yes, weeks, sir. months down the road. Hope you do extremely well with your sales. And I hope this book generates more discussion, discussion um, within Louisville itself, more uh, political discussion. Uh, I just don't think we have enough of that we're hearing too much from one particular side, you know, that left extreme, left wing extremist side. We, we need right. all voices. Um, well, you know, I want to thank you as we close out, man. I appreciate you. We need more of our demographics, particularly our men who are willing to act like they got a pair. Okay. Mm -hmm. And not be afraid of, of the, of the feedback of somebody saying, you know, I don't know if you gotten or not, but, I'm sure somebody probably told you you don't want to hang out with that me, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to be talking to that me, Sean. Okay. Oh, man, uh, man. I'm sure you got to come on. You probably ain't said it. You ain't told me. But I'm sure somebody, oh, you know, you been. Yeah. Oh, man, this, this reception is bad. But next time we do this, folks, um, I'm going to have Uncle Michelle. To be astute enough to be your own individual. I appreciate you, bro. All right. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you, too. Um, I'm going to uh, stop things right here. Amen.